Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 40s World, presenting a family affair and that's you all guys. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by again. We had some newcomers come to the channel over here at the house and want to partake of what we get down and what we do over here. But uh, before we go on into mentioning them, we're going to be covering in this video a subject on Kenya Moore, her husband Mark Daly. It was brought out by Celebrity Insider. They titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta, Mark Daly's New York City restaurant swarmed with rumors of health code violations on so-called addresses situation, okay? And Ricky Mathers brought out that story. But before we get into that salacious story, because it's all alleged, we don't know if it's true or not, okay? Not over here at the Family Affair. We just talk about stuff that's trending in social media, and we kick back, key key, give our two cents in, and then we moving on to something else, okay? Just light banter over here. Um, and just giving us something to talk about and interact with one another, okay? Because I know it was a long week. We're um, in cruise control now. We're meddling, uh, mellowing it out. And, hey, it's still Friday night. Y'all probably up there popping like it's hot. Or y'all might be dropping it like it's hot, okay? Or you might just be chilling, looking at Netflix, and then you may just be catching this video, okay? But however you got down or getting down, Make sure you're relaxed about it, okay? And you're happy in spirit. But I want to say hey to Cindy Phillips. And um, you didn't think it was okay in your comment. And I kind of agree. I kind of agree with you on that one. I really do. I felt you on that. Um, you don't think it was Kenya who did it? I, 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 okay. I, you know, I can get with it. I can get with it. Then I want to say hello to China Black. You said that Cynthia definitely needs to pay attention to her own front yard and not be worried about Kenya's man and what he's doing. I know that's right, honey. You better be she better be worried about open mic and his book he finna display and just tell secrets out the wazooka and then it's gonna be looking like Cynthia, do you really wanna marry this man or not? I feel you, China Black. I feel you. Thank you for coming over, love. Uh Barbara Patrick. You stated Andy started that mess and he lied about it. And he's trying to uh, <laughs> mess with the twirls. And, you know, he did say, he did say it was Kenya Moore. Then he retracted it. Sometimes, some people do throw some truth out there, okay? Just to see how you're going to take it. And then they throw it back and say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. But in, in hindsight, they really did. So, it could be a negative or a plus. I could go either way. Um, I want to say thank you for stopping by, though. Nita Young, thank you. Uh, for stopping by and you felt that Nene had offered the olive branch to Kenya and it's kind of played out well you know like I said you can always take a horse to the water to drink but if they're not thirsty hey just hear what it is you offered it uh, Nadine Leo hey girls thank you for stopping by and you are absolutely right. I feel the same way. Candy doesn't like Nene. But Candy don't like anybody. But she better be watching out for Kenya Moore. Because Kenya Moore wants her spot. She done told her in so many uh, open-ended questions or statements. And Candy ain't catching on. She ain't catching on. And then I want to say lastly, unspoken voices inside me. Girl, how did you get that name? <laughs> <laughs> that could be meant for all of us, right? But um, you were trying to say uh, Mark seems different than what he first portrayed um, to us. And I'm like, you know, hey, could it be him? Or could it be how television and Kenya are trying to put that spin? Okay, I don't know. But yeah, you had some enlightenment there. Jasmine Smith, I want to say, hey, you think Nene's going to handle Kend Kend uh, Candy at the reunion? Honey, I hope so. Somebody need to handle Candy. Somebody need to call Candy out. I mean, seriously. Because if we call Kenya out and Nene out all day long, and then we pick on Portia here and there, and we kind of, you know, pat um, Cynthia on the head with all this mic mess going on, you know. We can get a we can get a hold of can okay? Cause she really needs to get a hold. Be gotten a hold too, especially when it's time about she just now tasting alcohol. Try please anyway. And I want to say a special thanks to Felicia K. Thank you for stopping by. And P. M. Patricia Casey. Girl, did I call you Gordon or something? I'm sorry, but we talking to Miss P. M. Patricia Casey. Yes, I kind of think the plot on Candy and Kenya. They're trying to take Mark down. 
by any means necessary. Yeah, to try and throw that scandal, that blackmail scandal on him. I can get with it. I can. I truly can. I see where you're going with that. And, yep, Kenya, and, and she could have paid off some staff workers to bring in one rat, one roach, and, you know, it just, <laughs> it just went turmoil. Everything just went south, and they trying to say he got a whole lot of violations on his restaurant. But, you know, a scorned woman would do some dirty things, and I won't say it's above Kenya's uh, approach to handling the situation because look how she handled up all Matt. She first had brought Matt a sweet man, loving on her, bringing her animals, and I want to twirl and king or whatnot. He had brought her after a uh, velvet or somebody, her other little uh, puppy had died, and he brought her two puppies on. She was in love with Matt. And then, you know, she tried to make him seem like this old battered, domestic, beating on women type of syndrome. And he said it's too far because you push a man too far with all your negative antics, they can lash out. But, you know, she didn't mar I mean, Matt, the same way, brought him in as this uh, nice gentleman, very buff, very good with his hands and all this, that, and the third. And when he didn't want to get with what she was trying to give or wanted him to give for the show, um... She turned on him. You see what I'm saying? She tried to paste him as the worst villain it was. Same thing now. Seems like she's trying to do with Mark. Mark was his personal uh, uh, gentleman. Uh, loved him. Know he looked good. Fine and all that. And he's a successful, allegedly, businessman out there running his own restaurant and all this that and the third and he has threatened to take all her beautiful dreams of having a family a baby you know a marriage a heavy happy ever after type syndrome and she scorned about it so is it plausible that she could have been involved of this little impromptu uh restaurant fatality in a sense like killing his restaurant off uh, because he's treated her so bad in the media and on this TV show we have as a reality show to look at. You know, is she scoring? Would she possibly go that deep, uh, hit below the ankles and put something out on him like that? They draw negative attention to his livelihood. But don't you, don't she know when you mess with his livelihood, uh, she's messing with Brooklyn and her livelihood? If they are truly married and, you know, the baby is his, which, you know, chromosomes tell a lot. It seems like he could be the dad of uh, Brooklyn. Looks a dead ringer to me. But, you know, how things can be, you know, done and altered and this, that, and the third. So, not really sure, but I really believe he's the sperm donor. But, um, yeah, can you feel threat? She don't want to be by herself. She don't want to be a, a, a ex, um, allegedly ex-wife she wants the family dream she wants to stay with this man because she thinks they're beautiful they're a beautiful couple uh they have a loving daughter they need to raise together and all like that but i'm like kenya what world do you live in baby when somebody don't want you they don't want you and you have to come to the reality that you may be a single mom raising that child by yourself and co-parenting with the dad that's it don't get into all this drama don't get into making that man restaurant uh pay for or whatever you feel that he should have been doing to you and loving on you and then you just lashing out girl could you have done this i don't know allegedly you could it's looking like a battered or uh, scorned woman who's been getting verbally abused and she needs to lash out so i'm just saying but let's go and see what celebrity insider our journalist ricky mathers is saying in her article about these terms of about of uh Mark Daly's so-called restaurant up in New York. Okay, again, she gives us a title of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Mark Daly's New York City restaurant swarmed with rumors of health code violations. Soco addresses situation. Okay. It says Mark Daly can't catch a break. Don't seem like the brother can. Don't seem like the brother can. That was just my sidebar. We're getting back into the article. It said, um, Mark Daly can't catch a break. After becoming Real Housewives of Atlanta's biggest villain, the restaurateur is facing rumors about his business in New York. Bossa reported that Daly's New York City restaurant was cited for vermin and improper food storage. Vermin is another way of saying roach, uh, well, not roaches, but rats, okay? Uh, and improper food storage. It could have been like some temperatures off. 
uh, the fridge wasn't set appropriate to the appropriate gauge. You know, those are the minor infractions. But we don't want to be eating with no rodents while we partake. And we don't want one crawling on the floor or several of them running through the restaurant while we're there. And that is a very big health violation code. All right? And not deemed appropriate when you're running a restaurant business. But that's just my sidebar. Okay? We're going back to the article. It said the website claimed that the hot spot named SoCo gathered violations that included food, wasn't properly protected from sources of contamination, doing storage, prep, transportation, display, or service. Cold foods items weren't being refrigerated at appropriate temperatures. Live roaches were present in both the kitchen and or dining area. There was evidence of mice in the kitchen and or dining area. The restaurant isn't vermin proof and has conditions that are conducive to attracting vermin and allowing them to exist. Another word for vermin, rats. Okay, regardless of the violation, the eatery received an A grade. Now, I'm kind of confused. If you got all that going on, who was paid off to get a grade A as acceptable? Then it's not a health code violation. So what are we talking about here in this article? I don't know. Just my sidebar. But let's continue reading. It says the report spread like wildfire when caused which caused Real Housewives of Atlanta fans to claim that Mark is receiving karma from the way he treats the mother of his child. Soko released his own statement via Instagram, which focused on the A grade they received. Okay, Soko under the Instagram account i guess that's a mark's business account he goes by he says for the haters spreading false news psa meaning personal service announcement personal service announcement we have maintained our a for many years our staff is amazing so-called cool standards have always been upheld please stop spreading fake rumors about a successful black owned business go ahead mark dated speak your mind brother speak your mind that was my sidebar but going back to the article it says the caption that accompanied the post read but okay i did read that to you all it says this comes just days after mark had to release a message about being called out for his behavior towards Kenya Moore and the night of the black man's lab event. As a person of color, it is of paramount importance for me to showcase the positive aspects of people, hence the reason for involvement or his involvement in the black man's lab experience. Unfortunately, my genuine attempt at doing something positive was compromised by my personal situation. For that, I sincerely apologize and take sole responsibility. Hopefully, the restaurant is able to clean up its reputation and Data continues to do positive things like Black Man's Lab. Okay? And that was our uh, debut of Mark Data, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? And I'm like, okay, I don't understand. Why are we even talking about this story if he received the A? So, it has to be a plausible in, uh, explanation, which I can't come up with because I don't know how you can have this going on environments roaches mice all this other stuff going on on proper uh food storages temperatures and this that and the third and then you can receive an a grade some ain't in that milk clean okay does it have kenya moore's name written all over, all over it? i don't know a scorned woman a hurt woman will do detrimental things okay i'm just saying i am just saying i'm speaking my mind now i spoke my mind on the situation y'all know how i feel now it's my time for my co-host which is my family the family of to get together, congregate, and tell me what you think about this situation. Does it have a scorned woman, Kenya Moore's hand all over this situation? Or is it somebody else trying to sabotage Soko Restaurant by dragging Mark Daly's name through the mud? Hmm. What do you say about that, fam? Get on in the comments and let me know. And, of course, I will see y'all next video. And thank you for all of my newcomers uh, to the show uh to our show and wanting to weigh in and sit in and get where they can get in how do you say get in where you can fit in yes come on over if you have subscribed to our channel please do so at this time and like and share our videos okay we'd love to hear from you uh and get down in the comments or interact with one another okay and i will see y'all next video guys Bye bye